let's understand the life cycle of issue of debentures at par okay and then these could be at premium also or discount also but the life cycle will more or less remain the same now what happens is that as we know very well companies in order to carry on their business require fund right the sources of fund can be the shareholders okay who put in the equity plus preference share capital or they could be lenders lenders could be something like a bank okay or finance companies etc if the company is very reputable what happens is that they try and raise the money themselves normally the lenders would charge you a very high rate of interest right so the companies in some cases try to raise the fund themselves by issuing an instrument called debenture it's something which is issued to the general public i mean not necessarily the shareholder okay this can be issued to the shareholders also this can be issued to the lender also or it can be issued to the public also okay now what happens is that when you issue a debenture it's also an instrument so the company what it does is let's say you have x y z the company will make an offer to the public saying that we want to issue let's say 100 debentures on which we will give you interest at the rate of 5% or whatever that might be okay now there are various people in the public who are looking at various investment avenues normally when these people go to the banks and make a deposit the rate of interest earned by them is very low in fact the rate of interest offered by the banks is the lowest in most of the cases so let's say the bank came back and said okay i'll give you 2% interest per annum okay but the other side of it is that with the bank these people are secured that their money will not be lost the security provided by the bank is maximum so the security is maximum but the return or the rate of interest that they get is very low to lure these investors what the company says is look instead of 2% i will pay you 5% okay but definitely the security of a company depends on its reputation so if you are a big company people would be willing to invest with you even at 5% but if you are a small company people may say okay no we are not interested give us 10% or we don't want to invest with you so once this offer is made to the public the public will come back and normally this offer will say okay here are the terms of the debentures i want to offer these 100 debentures if you want to buy it you pay me 50 rupees on application let's say 100 debentures of 100 each you have to pay rupees 50 at the time of application and 50 at the time of allotment normally in case of debentures you don't have first call second call or third call that we saw in the heading issue of shares okay so the moment these guys accept this offer they have to send a check or the money towards share application or sorry not share application debenture application after a particular number of days let's say x days the company's offer letter would have said that you have to pay this rupees 50 on allotment after 60 days or rather between 60 and 90 days so when the 60th day come this money actually become due to the company so the company has a situation where the money is due on allotment 
and then this money is received okay now there could be situations where you know when the money is due on allotment some may pay some may not pay okay so depending on these variations the accounting entries also vary right and it may also happen that you know the offer is made for let's say 1000 shares but the public may subscribe only for 900 or they may actually apply for 1100 also or it might be exact 1000 also so all these permutation and combination are to be taken into account at the time of passing the entries right now we'll be taking on several videos through which we'll be explaining to you each of these circumstances